hope you are all well. Um, I'm on my big girl camera today because we are stepping it up a notch because it is time for summer capsule wardrobe. Finally, although it is completely pissing down outside on the day that I'm filming this, it is very hot. I'm very sweaty right now, but it is all good. I'm excited for my summer capsule wardrobe, so I thought today I would show you the whole process from start to finish. So this is what my wardrobe is currently looking like. Whenever I show my wardrobe in videos, people are like, no way, is that your whole wardrobe? No, it is not my whole wardrobe. Um, this side is Mark's, this side is mine, it's from Ikea. We kind of want some built-in storage, I think, one day, because it would be nice to have a little bit more space. But basically what I do is every season, I rotate some things in and out, some things stay in there for a couple of seasons, some things are just in for the one season. So at the moment, all winter things are under my bed. I have two drawers under my bed. That has my winter stuff in right now and the whole thing just kind of rotates. So there's a few things in here. This is like the leftovers. There's a couple of like stragglers from my spring capture wardrobe that kind of need to go. I mean, I've got a massive black coat in here right now. That doesn't need to be hanging up. Um, if you want to hear more about the whole capture wardrobe thing, I will link my playlist down below for you that has all of my videos. I've been doing this for around two and a half years now and I've also put up a blog post this week that sort of had how I'm preparing for my summer capture wardrobe. So if you want to have a read of that, have a little look down below. But step one is to take out the things that I don't need. Step two is to like show you how I planned the purchase that I was going to make and then step three I'll show you the things I've actually bought. Everything will be linked down below as always but let's get started with clearing this old thing out. So just to show you what I'm working with here, I've got some jumpers up here t-shirts, I've taken everything out of my wardrobe, got my shoes down there, yes I know there's a better place to store shoes, not near clothing, but we live in a flat, um, and then I've got all my clothes here, and kind of accessories and a scarf as well. I've just had a quick clear out of that top shelf that had my jumpers and my t-shirts on, I think I'm going to keep all my t-shirts, they're just really handy for the summer, but I've basically got rid of all my jumpers, and a woolly hat that I had up there, I definitely don't need that now, um, so now I've just got a grey jumper, a black jumper, a stripy one and a white one just in case there's a cold day. I believe that step one is just getting it all out. So I gave you a quick little run through there. I've gone through these bits at the top and I have quickly looked through my shoes and actually I sort of had a bit of a shoe rummage maybe about a month ago because I've been to Italy, I've been to Vegas, I sort of had a couple of hot weather holiday things already so I sort of already had a clear out of these and so I've kind of kept all my sandals obviously, my Vans trainers, and then I have two pairs of boots I'm keeping down, my acne ones, and then also my Chloe Susanna ones, because I feel like these are kind of summery, they look really good with skirts and dresses, if I'm ever in the mood for that, and then also those acne ones are just good with everything, really. But I'm going to start putting things back in, um, I have a couple of, a couple, one, uh, one dress, one skirt, I'm going to pick this up last year, it's from And Other Stories, and I'm going to keep it up this end, although that might be changing. Maybe there's another skirt to add. Also at this end, I keep my jumpsuits and dungarees, which I think I'm gonna keep out. I've got a Whistles like wash black pair. They're from a couple of years ago. I've got my new made well white denim dungarees. I think I picked up in my spring capsule wardrobe. And then also the Windsor London like boiler suit. I feel like there's still, I mean, we're in the UK, like there's still gonna be options to wear jumpsuits for sure. Um, jackets is definitely where I can downsize. I think my, this is like my favourite jacket ever. It's my Whistles Erica jacket from about two years ago now. I love it. It's so nice, but it's too thick. We're moving on. Um, I have this AYR little blazer thing, which I'm going to keep in. Blazers are a bit of a theme, which you will see. Um, my And Other Stories leather jacket, which is one of my favourite things in my wardrobe. One of my longest standing. I think it's about five years old now because I bought it when they first opened. Um, I'm not sure what to do. I think the yellow. The yellow has to go. I love it. It's a gorgeous jacket. I'm definitely going to keep it for next winter. Oh, remember one time my friend asked me, he said, do you get rid of all your clothes and then just get a new wardrobe every season? No, no I don't. I add like five-ish new things in every season but things like this I absolutely love. It will be coming back next winter. I just don't want like the fluff in my wardrobe for now. I don't have a lot of space in here, so I just like to see things that I can wear right now that are applicable for now, that are seasonal, that aren't gonna make me melt. 
Um, I'm not sure what to do about this ASOS one, but I think I'm going to put it in storage actually. Um, a good place to put things if you don't have underbed storage, and if I'm honest, mine's kind of full at the moment because all my winter things are quite chunky and big. Um, you could try to stick them in a suitcase. That's what I'm going to do with a lot of these things. And um, I think I'm going to keep this one down. This is a jigsaw number and it's just a little bit more thinner than everything else. So if there's any times when I'm out in the evening, that could be a good one to keep. The next category are shirts. I love a good shirt, can you tell? And um, what I tend to do with these is like split them down the middle. Obviously you don't get as much wear of them out the summer. So I tend to like keep my favorites and then put the rest in storage. And actually it's quite like nice when you get them out. You're like, oh, I've missed this. Um, so I'm gonna keep the one I've got. This one from Topshop I picked up last year. It's more of a wrap blouse. That is a great summer shirt. Um, I think the equipment white shirt is a good shirt. It's always good to have a white one. This frame, like short sleeve one, is probably my favourite shirt right now. So putting that back in. I've got two leopard print ones here. This one is equipment. This one is from Under the Stories. And I think I'm gonna go for the paler one. Um, it's just a little bit more summery. So stick that one into storage. I think I'm going to pop this one into storage as well, it's from under the stories, it's navy and just a little bit more thicker. And then stripes and spots. Can I do both? I'm going to do both. I'm going to stick both of those in. That's good, that's, that's taken a couple out of the equation. Um, knitwear is my next section, like big chunky knitwear. Um, I don't think I need any of these and I've got a thinner sort of one I should really take this off the hanger. I promise I'll fold it. Um, this is from AYR and this is just a very thin, sort of good, like, weekendy vibe sort of piece of knitwear, but I mean, these are like cashmere, wool, very, very thick numbers, so I think they're going to be um, put into storage. I definitely don't need those up. Camisoles. Um, I was never into camisoles because I always, well, I just don't like getting my arms out too much. However, sometimes it's too hot. You need a camisole in your life. Um, you will see, I have upped my camisole game. I bought a new one, um, but a black and a white one is always a good shout. This one is from Whistles. This one is from ASOS. Popping those back in. It's looking a bit empty, actually. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, summer clothing is smaller. You know, it doesn't need to be as packed out. Um, then we have trousers. These are basically all my trousers. I don't tend to store any trousers because I kind of wear them all year round. I'm talking like trousers and denim here. I do have a couple of pairs of denim shorts that are in my like easy to grab storage that are under my bed. But for me, I'd rather keep them there because I know I'm not really gonna wear them like day to day. It's more of a, oh my God, it's so hot, I'm going down the beach kind of thing or like a holiday thing to me. Um, I have a pair of leather trousers. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna happen. I will put those away. That's definitely more of a winter thing. And also these like whistles, cigarette kind of suit trousers. I stupidly wore them in Vegas. Was a terrible idea. I think the rest of my denim, I'm just gonna hang back up. Um, this is all from Topshop. Various different styles from them, including the awesome jeans that I love and the straight leg raw hen jeans. They're the ones that I'm wearing today. Oh, that looks so much clearer already. It's just so nice to have actually all of your options like in front of you. And the only other thing that I have in here, um, a lot of my like fancy schmancy bags I have in a drawer over there. Um, but I definitely don't need this scarf. That can go into storage. And um, this is a bag that Topshop um, very kindly gifted me. I love this. I think this is beautiful. Don't I just instantly look more summery? Um, popping that up. Also my Saint Laurent uh, massive tote bag hangs in here. I've just got some like little hooks on the side that I picked up from home base. They're so handy. Um, this is from Wood Grey, but they do sell it in Mango now, and it's cheaper in Mango, which is great. So that's sort of all my like summery bags. Look at that! Ta da! That's kind of my summer capsule wardrobe, which does look quite small. I promise you I'm adding some things in, and there are definitely some things in the wash right now. But the pile, I'll show you. That's one pile of stuff that I've got to go into storage, and uh, that's the other pile. So there's quite a lot going in that I will grab again this winter. So the next two stages are kind of mushed together, because I've sort of got the basics down. Like, it's taken me a couple of years, but I feel like, you know, I've got the black camisole, I've got the white camisole. So now I just look to, like, add fun things which just like add a bit of flavour, a bit of spice to my wardrobe because it is quite neutral. <laughs> oh my word. And when it comes to inspiration for that, I look to two places. The first place is my little list that I keep in my bullet journal that at the end of every sort of capsule wardrobe thing, so spring, summer, autumn, winter, 
I write down like a little overview. I write down my most worn things. I write down items that are still missing. So my summer capsule wardrobe for last year, I ended up wearing my Gucci loafers a lot. Yet yeah, they're still in there. My equipment tie-dye like blue shirt that is in the wash in the other room. My wood grey straw bag. This little straw bag. Plain t-shirts, so they're just like folded up up there, and then my Topshop pale wash denim that I still wear all the time now, and I have a feeling my most worn pair, yeah, are drying in the other room right now. And then items still missing, I have written sandals, and I think this is how you pronounce them, they're the YSL nude pe peeds, nude peeds, peeds? Yay French GCSE! I loved those last year, I saw Lucy Williams wearing them last year and I was like, I need them in my life. We'll revisit that in a moment. I think the reason why I put them on was because last year I was obsessed with these like Topshop leopard print sandals, still got them, still love them, but I just got so much wear out of that style of sandal that I haven't really worn before. Um, I've written shorts, skirts, dresses, still missing. Um, we'll address that in a bit, I feel like dresses, uh, there's, there's this one that I love and then I'm not really interested in anything else. Shorts, um, again I feel like I've got the denim hot panty things, I don't really wear shorts any other time. And then camisoles that fit, <laughs> I feel like last year I ended up with ones that were like tight across the boobs or too drapey across the boobs so I never wanted to wear them because I thought I was just going to be nip slipping the whole time. Um, so I sort of look at that, that's like step one, and then I also just have a look on Instagram, whenever I'm on Instagram and I'm scrolling through, I love the saved function, I think the save function is incredible, you can just create your own little mood boards, I have a look as if there's any outfits that I like, any items I'm interested in, those two things combined really help me to plan the next step. So, what did I end up buying? Um, the first thing I ended up buying, I've got them down here, um, were these blooming things. These are the, the YSL new Pied sandals that cost an absolute fortune. You've probably seen loads of bloggers talk about these, they are like the blogger shoe right now. But I did have them on my list for last year and they were never in stock on my size whenever I looked for them and I was just like, you know what, they're in my size, F it, I'm gonna do it. I'll take one for the team and let you know what I think of them. Well, I've taken one for the team and I've ended up with not not even just blisters on my feet, like my feet are ble like bleed when I wear these. If you have any tips for making difficult sandals work, I've gone through many packs of those like blister, plaster, pad things. Um, I just, I cannot make these work for the life of me. I got them a size up as well, people suggested doing that. Um, so I've got the 39 and a half in these instead of the 39, which is a UK 6, which I normally wear. But for me, I'll show you how I style them here, but for me they are just so painful and probably the biggest waste of money that I have ever spent on an item of clothing, ever. So, wanting with these, I don't, I don't think you need these in your life, especially if you've got quite delicate and sensitive feet like me. So here they are, the devil shoes. Um, annoyingly, I actually really like how they look on the foot. I think because they're quite just on the front of the foot, I think they're quite slimming and it looks really good especially if you're wearing it with something that has a cropped style you get like a lot of foot and a lot of ankle in there so you definitely don't look as cut off um but yeah if you have any tips of how to make these semi-wearable please let me know because i would love to wear them i do like them um and i spent a lot of money on them thanks so that didn't really work out but it meant that the only sandals that i've really had in my wardrobe were these ones that i wear all the time and obviously they're leopard print and if i'm wearing a leopard print top for example it's just too much. So I kind of wanted some just very plain, like a black and a white pair kind of thing, and then I've got a black, white, a leopard print, and a tan if I want to kill my feet. And so I had a look around, and actually those ones were from Topshop last year, so I was like, you know what, I know that they're comfortable, I'm going to go for. I did buy them with a gift voucher, I do work with Topshop, just want to throw that out there, but I 100% would have bought these with my own money, considering I think they were £30? each maybe um, and the reason I went for these is because they're more of like a fabric rather than a stiff leather or just a painful fabric that's gonna cut your feet to shreds and these really haven't like I said I have sensitive feet and I feel like where I've been wearing the YSL ones they're not in a good place so these did rub on areas of pain that I had previously had from other sandals but actually on their own they didn't create any new blisters I don't feel like you get too much toe cleavage with these I'm not into like massively having like your whole foot or your whole toes out here are the cream sandals I like they kind of go with the bag it's like cream on cream it's very different to have like white accessories or cream accessories at least instead of black um but yeah they cover quite a lot of the foot so like i said i don't think you get too much 
toe cleavage. I mean, you would get a very interesting tan line with these, but they're just very comfortable, would be really good for holidays. I've just thrown on the black ones so you can see those two. Obviously, these are gonna be a little bit more practical because of the color, um, but I sort of prefer the white ones unless I'm wearing, like if I was wearing more of my pale denim, I think these would look better. Um, I sort of like the cream with the cream bag, so yeah, these are for more if I'm having like an all black day or wearing my paler denim. Okay, so sandals were ticked off the list, and then I moved my attention on to the bottom half, and like I've mentioned before, skirts. And when I looked in my Instagram saved section, let me find it, there's someone called Anne Law Mays, um, she's the founder and creative director of Musier Paris and she's amazing and she's got a reformation leopard print skirt that I was like if I'm gonna wear skirts I think I can wear that one and I'd saved it I absolutely love the look I'll pop it up here on the screen so you can see it annoyingly reformation are out of that skirt I've also seen this gorgeous it's not like that it's more of like a silky like midi length number um, from Realization Par, which I've seen Lucy Williams wearing, I've seen Sabina So Cool wearing, I've seen like all these girls I love on Instagram wearing the skirt. Um, annoyingly though, I keep putting it in my basket, trying to like check out, and it doesn't currently ship to the UK for some reason. I think they're bringing like some warehouse type thing over here, it's taking a bit of a while. So I did email them and I was like, please, can you tell me you're gonna resume UK shipping? They said within the next month or two. So if it's in the next month, I might purchase that. It's a little bit pricier, but I feel like it's a gorgeous item, which I could wear kind of come evening, come the whole day. Like wear that with fans, it would look super, super cool. However, However, if we're going back to the Reformation skirt, which I do love, I found this one on Topshop, again with a gift voucher, just a heads up. And to be fair, it really looks like the Reformation one. I was quite impressed. Again, I think this was around £30. Annoyingly, everyone's getting on it. Um, I had to get it in the tool section, I think. And I got it in a UK 12, so normally I'm a UK 10. Um, and I would say the length is pretty good on me. I've seen the clip, like I'm actually quite happy with the length, but it's a little bit bulky around the hips. I might actually look at getting this tailored in and just sort of like a bit better fitting. But I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot. I wore it over the weekend and Mark was like, oh, look at you in a skirt. I look summery. I feel summery. I've put too much Vita Liberato <laughs> instant tan on my legs. I will link this stuff. oh my word. <laughs> I will link this stuff down below because it's seriously incredible. If I put this like everywhere else, you would be convinced. It's super, super good. But I really like this skirt. I feel like there could be a bit of tailoring done kind of in this section just to like tighten this bit a little bit more because like I said, it's a little bit too big for me. Um, but I, I like this look. Like it just jazzes up any sort of very plain, boring outfit that I might be wearing. Makes me feel a bit summery. Better not do that though because I didn't tan the back of my legs. Oops. The camisoles, I have this one, which if you saw my last video, which was my main favourites, you would have seen this already. Again from Topshop, again with a gift card. I love it though, it was £16. I would happily go in there and buy this in other colours, like maybe, I wonder if they do a blue. Oh my word, like a sapphire blue would look absolutely gorgeous. It's like a satiny texture and I like that, I like that it's got that bit of shine. I wore this to like a fancy evening meal and I felt very like swanky and chic and I like had my hair up and I was like, oh yeah, I'm feeling this. Um, with this outfit, I mean, it's just a gorgeous colour. The one thing I would say is to size up in these. So again, I got this in a UK 12 and I don't really have much in the boob department, um, but I did feel like the 10 was really like holding me in and it's not a great look. Um, this is the thing with having small boobs, things like this aren't terrifying. I didn't have boobs at school and that at the time was like the worst thing ever. All my friends have like the world's biggest boobs. And so now I kind of get my moment where I can wear things like this. Um, so apologies for big boob people out there. I feel you've got lots of friends in the same boat, I feel your pain. If you've got small boobs, something like this. It's your moment, take your time to shine. Um, I do need to invest in some tip tape though, I did wear this without a bra and I definitely flash my boobs around. And um, you can wear it with a bra, the back is quite low, um, so I found that my bra showed. Um, I think I'd rather just put a bit of tape on and sort of feel a bit more in it. Here's the camisole, you've seen this on already in my May favourites, but I just absolutely love it. I think it's such a bargain. I like the little scalloped edge it's got here, and I love this like satiny fabric, and I'm tempted by more colours. I definitely have my summer wardrobe sorted now, but I'm tempted. Something that wasn't on my capsule wardrobe list from last year, but something that I'm kind of lacking in, if you look at this section of my wardrobe, is summer appropriate outerwear. I sort of have 
my leather jacket. I do actually have a denim jacket under my bed. I might grab that out and get that on there. Um, and also just this like black blazer, but I didn't really have any other sort of out in the evening. It's a little bit chilly. You don't really want to wear a jumper, but also you don't just want to wear a camisole. This originally got in my mind because of an Instagram again that I'd seen. This is from, oh, whoa, nothing to see here. This is a girl called Leia. I will insert the picture here and I'll link to her down below. Um, she's very cool, but this whole outfit, I was just like, oh, I love it. Um, I've tried the whole like gray blazer thing before and I guess I've got this and so I didn't really want to do like this but just a little bit shorter I fancy something a little bit different again from Topshop I'm not you know I don't have to mention these but I just think it's a really nice piece of clothing um this just seemed quite thin in a good way um the padding is not that big at all but it does kind of need that padding in I think it just looks kind of like oversized I really love it and I love the idea of wearing it in that sort of outfit that she had on. Maybe I need like a washed black denim skirt. Ooh. I mean, even with the outfit I've got on, you'll see how I styled it in the clip after this. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was nice to kind of have something to hang here that just beefs out my outerwear section a little bit. So here's the oversized blazer. I've just worn it open with the arms rolled up a little bit, which I quite like. And because it is that vertical stripe, I think it's a very lengthening item in my wardrobe. I've got it on with the Topshop straight leg jeans, the YSL sandals that are very painful, <laughs> the little summer bag, and then just a Whistles camisole from last year, so like recycling some old favourites. Um, but I think it's a really good look, and I will show you the, um, the button style, because I like that even more. I feel like you could just wear this with something very simple underneath and some like black skinny jeans and some heels and it would be a nice little evening outfit. Yeah, I like it. The final thing that I bought was something that I bought just because I wanted to buy it. There wasn't really any planning involved in this, um, but I know that last year I wore this to death. It's actually broken. Um, I can still wear it, it's fine. The top just sort of flaps off a little bit. <laughs> Um, but I just absolutely love this bag. A lot of my other bags are leather, they're quite heavy, they're dark, and so it is nice to have something that feels a little bit more summery. And if you follow me on Instagram, oh, you would have seen this in like every single picture. I can't get enough of it. Um, it's from net porte and it is from a brand called Alien Nina from the... I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like Alien Nina. Alien Nina. Um, it's like a little rope bag and it's just it's hilarious like it's such a conversation starter my mum was like that's the cutest bag I've ever seen I just think it's adorable and I actually like that it is like a holdy handy bag <laughs> what and um, because I got to the point where I was actually like holding this a lot like that like that's just pointless um this is a really good across the body bag so I didn't really need another one of those I thought it'd be nice just to have a little like on the shoulder holding your hand, like maybe a bit more evening-y. Um, it's not the most practical of bags, but you can wash it. Um, they actually replied to a comment on one of my Instagrams. It's hand washable, so it's cool, which is great. Um, also, something that I think is great is the fact you can do this. Look at that! And then you've got like a slightly little, I don't know, could you wear that? Uh, maybe not, but it's kind of cool that you have that option. It's just a very fun little summer bag. I mean, you would have seen this bag styled with everything in this video, but I just love it so, so much. I think it goes with everything. It's really light. It's really easy to carry. And um, just to quickly show you how the inside works, because I couldn't really tell that from the photos online. Basically got a drawstring bag inside, and so it's quite good because you can tighten up the drawstring and then actually have everything quite secure inside. One thing I would recommend if you get this bag is to put knots on the end because I didn't do that before and then the string kept getting lost in this bit which was a bit of a pain. Um, but it's a decent size, I can actually fit my big wallet in here, like my big chunky wallet across my phone, sunglasses, lip balm, um, camera, this little mini camera I'm filming on. Um, so yeah, I can fit a decent amount in there, I have to say. So that is everything. That is my summer capsule wardrobe, the things I've added to it, why I added them to it, and just sort of a general update with everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed putting it together. Always fun to buy things. Everything will be linked down below, and if they were pricey, I'll try and find some more affordable dupes for you as well. Um, but thank you for watching. Oh, I know, if you're even further in the mood for shopping, I have recently updated the like shop the edit section on my blog. I asked for your feedback on that, so I really appreciate that on Instagram stories. And um, But yeah, that is updated if you fancy kind of seeing what's in my wardrobe and just my favorite things to buy right now. I cannot stop buying makeup. There will be a makeup haul coming soon. Um, but next week's video will be that declutter that I've been promising for a while. Declutter followed by a haul, balance, hey. So I'll see you then, bye.